Hi, this is Joseph with Deepwater Exploration. In this video, I'm going to be going over the software side um, of Tway OS. So once you have the hardware set up, which we done in the previous video, um, you can go ahead and set up your Pi. And I'll put a link in the description to our documentation site that explains how to do that um, in detail. So once you have everything set up, you want to head over to the IP that you have set. Um, the one that was in the example is uh, 192.168.2.2. And the port to actually view the UI is 5000. So you want to go ahead and put that in your address. And you should be prompted with uh, our DuoOS UI. In which case, any camera that's plugged in here, you can see it showed up clearly. And any cameras that you unplug will automatically get removed. And any cameras that you add will automatically show up. Now, here you have a lot of different options. The first of which is you can set a device nickname. Now, for three cameras, it's not as important. But if you have more than three cameras, like the whole uh, system can support up to seven cameras, uh, having multiple cameras, you want to make sure that you provide the right nickname. So you can do things like this is the front view of your vehicle, this is the back, and this to be the side view. And it will automatically save that. So whenever you restart your system, it will automatically show up. And over here, HD64 are all on by default. Um, and you can actually start a UTP stream. And this will start three separate instances. And you can go ahead and also change the resolution of some of these streams, uh, especially if you're using multiple cameras. Um, there might be bandwidth limitations. Um, so you can change the resolution by that. And the way that the bitrate works is that it's separate from the resolution. So if you change the resolution, you're also going to have to manually change the bitrate. Uh, you'll get a sharper uh, image and less uh, compression artifacts when you use a lower resolution with lower bit rates compared to high resolution with low bit rates. And over here, you have all your camera control settings, including brightness, contrast, and also AI true color uh, technology. And these are very useful for whenever you need to have things changed on the camera. And this is changed on the camera level. So it's a raw image that has been altered. And that way, it provides the best image quality. And to actually view the stream, you can use multiple different programs or multiple different softwares that you can install to view a UDP um, H.264 stream. Here we're using OBS setup with GStreamer, which is also well documented on our site. And you can go ahead and list out the port number here. And you can see here that we're getting one stream over here. And we're getting another stream here. And we're getting another stream. So all three streams are showing. You can also have these all simultaneously at the same time. And you can also reposition it, which, is, which makes OBS really useful software here. So now I'm going to be demonstrating. Um, we're going to be using one of these streams here to, um, to demonstrate things like bitrate control. So over here, we have one of the uh, camera streams here. That's uh, this one over here. And what I can do is this one is 5602, so it's our side view camera. I can go ahead and change the bit rate. And what happens is, because this is using the H.264 compression, um, it, it's an intelligent form of compression which looks for images and looks for parts that are moving and parts that are not moving and determine which ones need to be constantly updated. So if I do movements here, you can see um, there's a little bit of artifacts. And that's how the H.264 compression works. You can see here. But when you stay still, because it's realizing that's a still image, um, it will, it will, the image will become sharper. Um, so that's sort of how the compression works. And this will be useful if you have a underwater vehicle that you're look pointed towards like a claw or some type of tooling where there aren't a lot of constantly changing uh, frames. In that case, you, H.264 will really save on a lot of bandwidth. And then, of course, if I set this to back to 10, which is much higher, um, you can see that I, I don't get as much compression even when I move the cameras, camera around. So this is very um, useful. And this is just a basic look of Dway OS. Um, I can also, I'm going to move this to the side here. And I can also go into camera controls, change things like the brightness here. You can see that automatic changes. And again, that's done on the sensor level. So it's a raw format. You can remove contrast, increase contrast. Uh, true color is also. Um, really interesting here. You can get rid of it. And this will allow you to manually adjust the color by moving the hue, just like that. And we also have things like gamma, gain. And you can also change the um, change in manually 
the colors manually like that. So the, these are all very useful features, and all this is done within you know a Raspberry Pi, a two gig version of very simple um, software to install. And again, this can support up to seven seven streams. So that's a quick look over Dway OS. Um, and if you have any questions about implementing this system with your current existing software stack, um, you're free to contact us um, anytime. Thank you so much for watching.